Hello and welcome. From little things, big things grow. In 1924, the pest boll weevil began spreading across the southeastern portion of the United States, infesting cotton crops. The US Department of Agriculture Research Laboratory in the Mississippi Delta developed a pesticide to combat the weevil. This was calcium arsenate. Environmental concerns weren't considered back then. Huff Dallan Dusters, the world's first aerial crop dusting company, was chosen to test application methods. They requested from the Army Air Force at Maxwell Field two planes, two pilots, and a mechanic to carry out experimental application methods. The aerial application, 15 feet above the ground, was successful. Just who or what was Huff Daland? It was originally an American aircraft manufacturer formed as Odensburg Airway Corporation in 1920 in New York by Thomas Huff and Elliot Daland. The name changed to Huff Daland Aero Corp, then Huff Daland Aero Company. They produced a series of biplanes as trainers, observation planes and light bombers for the US Army and Navy. From 1923 to 1924, Huff Dallan developed the first aircraft designed for crop dusting and began the new service through a subsidiary, Huff Dallan Dusters, which was founded in 1925. Colette Woolman joined as chief entomologist responsible for selling this experimental service. The need for crop dusting dramatically decreased when the summer growing season ended. To compensate, Woolman expanded dusting operations in early 1927 to Peru, where the seasons are reversed from the US. While in Peru, Woolman began passenger air service in 1928, utilizing a unique agreement with Peruvian Airways Corporation. Although the arrangement did not last long, Woolman took the experience back to Louisiana. Back in Monroe, the parent company, now known as Keystone Aircraft Corporation, was seeking to sell off its subsidiary. Woolman and banker Travis Oliver led local investors to purchase Huff Dallan Dusters assets. The new company was incorporated as Delta Air Service in 1928, named after the Mississippi Delta region it served. Woolman was appointed vice president and general manager. Passenger service began in 1929 and ceased in 1930 when the air mail contract for the route Delta had pioneered was awarded to another airline, which purchased the assets of Delta Air Service. Woolman and other local investors purchased back the crop dusting assets of Delta Air Service and incorporated as Delta Air Corporation in December 1930. Delta secured an airmail contract and returned to airline operations in 1934 as Delta Airlines. The name change made official in 1945. Although Delta Airlines kept the crop dusting division until 1966, by 1938, expanding airmail and passenger service operations began earning more than crop dusting profits. A retired Delta pilot recalls one encounter with Woolman. He said, after landing our DC-7 in Charlotte, North Carolina, the agent came and told the captain that we were oversold and he had to take one passenger off. The gentleman standing in the cockpit talking with us told the agent that he would give up his seat and take the early flight out the next morning. After leaving the cockpit and going back to tell his wife, he got off and stood by the gate. After starting those big old right 3350s, I leaned forward and looked out the captain's window to see Mr. C. Woolman, principal founder and president of Delta Airlines, standing there waving goodbye to us. Woolman passed away in 1965. In 1991, Delta acquired substantially all of Pan Am's transatlantic routes. Delta was now the leading airline across the Atlantic. In 1997, Delta was the first airline to board more than 100 million passengers in a calendar year. 
In September 2005, the company filed for bankruptcy. How could that happen? Emerging from bankruptcy in April 2007, it fought off a hostile takeover from US Airways. Delta acquired Northwest Airlines in April 2008. Not bad going for a recently bankrupt company. As of December 2020, Delta operated a fleet of 750 aircraft manufactured by Airbus and Boeing. Delta operates the largest Boeing 717, 757 and 767 fleets in the world and the largest Airbus A330 fleet of any US airline. Thus, a small crop dusting company became a successful major airline. Small things to big things grow. Thank you for watching. Please comment. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribing to us will promote content.